G'day everyone, welcome back to Fix It In Post. My name is Nick and today we're going to look at how to basically put the Death Star into your scene. You know, the, the, the Death Star, this guy, which kind of looks like, you know, the, the thing with the, the lasers and it sort of joins up and pew, and then that thing. And, you know, from that movie with uh, Darth Vader, I think this is how you draw him, Darth Vader. And he has the lightsaber. And he's very mean and scary. Look, uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, so the point being is that we're going to put uh, the Death Star into your scenes. Cool. So we've got your blank slate here. Or as this, we're going to name this tutorial how to add the Death Star to your sky. So here's what we're going to do. Well, that's the start of Joe. There we go. There's the Death Star. So this is what we're going to be doing today. Um, pretty basic. We're going to get through. We're going to blitz through this. We are going to blitz through this tutorial. So let's get started. First, you need a picture of the Death Star. So I have one already, but let's make, let's put it into a comp. Cool. That's it. Now let's, uh, let's do this. We'll take the mask tool and then we'll drag a little circle over it. Hold down shift so you get a perfect circle. Double click on the edges. Let's go to about there. Maybe about halfway. And let's press F to bring up the feathers, the feathers, the feathers. To bring up the feathering tool on the mask. We'll make it about 100. We'll make it about 200. All right, let's go back to our comp. I'm going to make a new comp. Um, let's just call this Death Star in the sky. Um, we'll drag the footage. This is just the footage that I have. I shot this. This is just around my place. So there we go. There's our blank Death Star. Now, let's grab the Death Star that we just created. And let's pull it in. It doesn't look very interesting, but let's sort of shrink it down about the size we want. Let's say we want it to be about that size. Now, I'm going to um, just turn the screen mode on. And we're pretty much halfway there. Um, it's it's a little bit brighter than everything else. Like you can kind of see the clouds here a little bit brighter than that. Pull the opacity down. I think that's just easier, isn't it? And now we just add an adjustment layer to tie it all together. Um, that is Shift, Alt, Command, Y to bring that up. Or if you want, you just go to New, Adjustment Layer. That was right click a new adjustment layer. All right, let's bring in a Lometri color, which is one of my favorite new plugins in the CC suite at the moment. Lometri color, let's bring it on. Alrighty then. Let's go to creative. And this is also my favorite preset at the moment. And bam, pretty straightforward. I'm just gonna bring this down just a tad. It's only a subtle effect, but I think that's pretty much it. And that's it, pretty much. And you can kind of do this with any kind of object. Um, now the trick here is, is that when you look at this, so that it's screen, so you use the screen uh, overlay, is that it has to be black. It has to be on a black background, otherwise it doesn't work. Because if it was on a blue background, I'll just put something else. Well, let's just say, yeah, let's just say a blue. If I put this on a blue background, um, you can kind of see it doesn't really work. It has to be black. So say if I made this black and we go back here, like it's completely black. I'm waving my hand in front of the screen to kind of show you how it is, but you can't see my hand. It's ridiculous that I'm waving my hand in front of the screen, assuming that you can see that. I'm, I'm good. I usually talk with my hands anyway. So, um, so yeah, so that's it. And you can kind of do this with any object. So for example, I have a few, um, other objects set up here that I did before. For example, the moon, which is pretty much just this. Um, I did exactly the same thing. I, I feathered the edge as well. I'll just take the mask off so you can see. But that's just a picture of the moon that I had. Um, but I put a mask on with a feather, similar to what we just talked about. And let's uh, put the let's put the moon. I'll swap it out. So I'll highlight that, and I'll press Option Command, and then. Actually, you can just press Alt. You can hold down Alt while you drag it. So just hold down Alt and then drag it and then put it on. And voila, 
you've got yourself a super moon. Or if you just want a regular moon, you can just, you know, shrink it down. Um, and there you go. Or if you want to put some star destroyers in there, you can do that too. I had some made earlier. Oops. Drag that. We've got some star destroyers in the sky. Or if we duplicate that, we could have... The Death Star and some Star Destroyers. So that's it guys, that's pretty much as easy as it is to put the Death Star and pretty much anything you like in the sky. Anyway, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.